You're listening to a Euclid and Oaks production. It's Saturday, December 14th, 2019, 1.30 p.m. here in the studios in beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. According to Corn... (laughs) According to Coin Market Cap, the price of Bitcoin is around $7,100 and BTC dominance is sitting around 66 0.4%. Today's random fact, sleep deprivation will kill you faster than starvation. Crazy. That's interesting. I'm your host, Crypto Euclid. And I'm still Mr. Clips. Yes, you are. I am. And this is That Bitcoin Show. This episode of That Bitcoin Show is brought to you by Doc Trog's Trogso White Tooth Whitening Toothpaste. Now with extra, extra fluoride. Make sure your smile is extra white, just like Doc Trog. It's been a little bit of time since we've done one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Like, too long. Fill us in. What's been going on? Oh, first? Yeah. First, yeah. I want to ask everybody. Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Do they chug coffee? Because you mm. chug coffee and it's the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I chug coffee. Yeah. Yeah, like I do. multiple big, big gulps together. I'm drinking at least a pot of coffee a day, if not two. Is that good for you? I've read articles that said it was uh, coffee's good for you, but when I was drinking uh, alcohol pretty heavily, I also read articles that certain amounts of alcohol is good for you so there's no certain, telling <laughs> certain amounts you could probably find um some kind of article that'll back up any anything yeah. that you stand there's for. an article on in time magazine that says small amounts of heroin is actually good for you <laughs> i read it at the doctor's office you did <laughs> yep very small amounts of heroin when were have you been at the proven doctor's? to be good for you really yeah, Interesting. No, I'm just kidding. That's uh, a horrible joke. I, I fell for that. I, I mean, I, I, cause, cause I, I bet if I Googled that, it, yeah, I I'm find sure somebody you can. who wrote an article saying that very thing. Yeah. If you look, try to find, you know, if you want to support your own, you know, wishes, I guess, like if you're looking for support of why you're doing something, you'll find it. Of course. If you look, search far enough. The just, part, the part of the story where you lost me was when you said you read it at the doctor's office. Yeah. I was in the waiting room. Um, uh, because you don't go to the doctor. Uh, you were going to physical therapy for a little while and I was in the waiting room there. So it wasn't really a doctor it was physical therapy. This is true. Basically doctors, not offices, really. not really <laughs> just like conspiracy theories. If you want to go search out evidence for different things, uh, you will find them. Right. I'm not even going to get into the one. Let, let's move on. Let's move on. So we've been <laughs> killing it in the homemade praline business right (laughs) i like how you've just pimped out my pralines i on a whim tweeted and this just goes to show you guys the power of social media okay and i've i'm going to compare the two different uh main ones that i've uh played with and i'm not talking about facebook which is a whole nother area and tamra we should probably get into facebook because i feel like i can't i feel like Pralines would be a huge hit in the Facebook demographic, which is old people. Well, since I make them, then you can have the Facebook account. And I don't understand why old people love Facebook, but I don't care. Anyway, I digress. My grandfather even has it, but he can only look at pictures on there. That's what I'm saying. He has no idea how to do anything Every, like... Like everyone, like the older generations use Facebook and And he talks to me like I have one. Like I just know what it is and have it. So I never got a Facebook and I just got Twitter a 
couple years ago. I never was on Twitter, but I, I was, I've always kind of messed around with Reddit. So uh, the power of social media, um, we have sold, I would say, almost 20 dozen really of our of your homemade pralines on Twitter. Holy shit, that's a lot of pralines yeah. I've been making. I know. it's I, I have to run the figures again, but it's like hundreds of pralines that um, we've sold. And I'm pulling up the thing because I can't math very well. That's 232 pralines roughly because there's a few extra we had to ship too. Um, so let me tell you guys the pitfalls and the pros and cons of selling your own wares online. First of all, I want to go back to the subject of the power of social media. If you can tell by the tone of my voice, I'm going to be more serious. I don't like it. I, I'm, I was just about to suggest you chug some more coffee. No, I have some shit I want to tell people. I want to teach some people. I've gone through the ups and downs and the trials and tribulations of setting up my own uh, WordPress store. Uh, I've hooked up a uh, processor that lets me process cryptocurrencies automatically and the whole thing works really well and I'm very proud of the whole system and how flawlessly it worked we've we've accepted our first bitcoin payment the other day Yay. and before I was just you know uh basically like my twitter handle says dm for pralines and it works really well that way too like just send me a dm how you know how many dozen do you want and send me your address and i'll give you my bitcoin address or my paypal email or my cash app or whatever and that works really well the only problem with that is it's not like a 24 hour setup it's um you know uh, having a web store is cool because people can order it anytime they want and but there's you know uh, having like a processor, the process, the crypto processor I'm using, um, takes a tiny little cut. It's very small. I'm, I was impressed. It's like a dollar, but the only issue I'm, I'm finding, uh, with it is unfortunately the Bitcoin, if someone pays in Bitcoin, the processor won't actually transfer the Bitcoin to your private wallet until it reaches 0.001 Bitcoin, which right now is only like 70 bucks. But when Bitcoin goes up, I mean, you know, that's kind of an issue. So uh, to test it, I actually made a test order because we only had one order. And this might be a boring story to you, Tamara, it's, but um, yes. just sit back and relax. <laughs> Maybe go make some pralines because this All right, is for the... I'm going to go make pralines while you drone no, on. stay there because I'm talking to you. Oh. Uh, this is for the Bitcoin nerds out there that might be thinking about selling their own stuff online no it's very informative keep going so um that's the only negatives we did the first transaction crypto transaction uh we've done on the website for the pralines was litecoin and it was great it was instant as soon as someone paid they ordered two dozen pralines and i got the late litecoin payment like as soon as it cleared you know so that was fast and cool and i was like oh that's this works great the bitcoin one was different this particular uh processor cryptocurrency payment processor um, will <laughs> not release your Bitcoin until it reaches 0 0.001 Bitcoin in your wallet. So uh, that's a little bit like meh because, you know, um, I want it instantly, but they say they do that to prevent like spam transactions. So whatever. Um, so I had, you know, one payment sitting there for $38 sitting in our account. And it's like frozen because they won't release it until whatever. So I did a test and I trans I did a test order, sent my own Bitcoin to bump it up, right? Mm -hmm. To uh, be like whatever, 70 whatever dollars because right. two orders. And yeah, it worked. It sent the Bitcoin. However, it still held um, because of the way they do the, uh, the, the confirmation, you know, to make, there's mining fees involved when you send Bitcoin. Yeah. So to cover that transaction, for some reason they allowed like $15, which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so, uh, now I have $15 sitting in the wallet that I have worth of Bitcoin, you yeah. know, the transaction only took like 20 cents to confirm. And they said that. It's like, oh, the transaction only took 20 cents to confirm. So the remainder of the allocated funds for the mining fee has been sent back to your wallet. Well, that's great. Well, still. But so now it's stuck there. It's still sitting there. I have $15 <laughs> sitting in this like thing. So pretty much you'll always have like $15. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like there's never going to be a time when there's not. And what happens when Bitcoin, you knock on wood, goes back up to like $20,000 or whatever. And 0.001 Bitcoin is like. That's 
$200. But if, if that's the case, maybe they'll lower that. But yeah, I'm just a little bit like annoyed with that whole thing because I have a bit of OCD and I'm like, I you really, don't say. I want that money to not be in some other like yeah, limbo yeah. account. So right. yeah, that's the only negative. Now, um, other than that, it works really well. I even set up um, the ability to take uh, Bitcoin Cash and dogecoin just because i want to give people some people have like doge sitting there some people have bitcoin cash sitting there and they would rather use that plus it like instantly transfers and i'm i'm disappointed because honestly at this point i'm like do i even take the ability to accept bitcoin off that would be absolutely not no but it's just i'm like i said it annoys me and i it even says like if you're going to do microtransactions use bitcoin cash because it um it, they instantly transfer. There's no like huge hold, right? Or you know, a, a amount that they hold, which is you know whatever. So that's annoying, but it is annoying. But a lot of things annoy you. So yeah, I'm very sensitive to things. You feel like you just need to work on your coping mechanisms. Boy, they. <laughs> um, but I will say that everything else worked really, really well, and I'm very pleased with it. And obviously, I'm not taking the you know that's just part of it. And uh, we're accepting Bitcoin, obviously. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, I'd rather you pay in Litecoin. So if you're going to order <laughs> pralines on the website, please pay in Litecoin. Stop. <laughs> Get out of here. it's like instant. Don't you just be happy and grateful for whatever you receive and shut your mouth. Yeah. I had another thing. Oh, so the, I get, getting back to the uh, power of social media, I posted a uh, article or, you know, like a post on Reddit on you know, our Bitcoin or whatever, the subreddit, Bitcoin subreddit. And I was like, hey, yo, I was, I'm selling my wife's uh, homemade pralines for you Bitcoin. You did not. <laughs> yeah. And it was not well received. Let's just say that. Reddit is a vicious place. Um, especially if you, I used to be on you didn't Reddit. You tell me about it. What happened? Yeah. I used to be on Reddit like as a different account. And I, I liked Reddit a lot. I used to spend a lot of time on there. But then I switched over to Twitter. And now like Twitter is my home I guess well I would hope so you're always there so I hope you don't have like another place that you always are because that would be impossible yeah so I think the thing about Twitter is we've already established there people know who we are in the crypto Twitter community so they trust us and they're like oh yeah I know you know I know them uh, I'll buy pralines from them reddit they just don't know who the hell I am so they're like fuck you go away and you know whatever <laughs> Um, it, the comments were like, well, oh my God. Um, you weren't well received in a Twitter at the very end. No, you know. <laughs> no, I was, so. yeah. But I'm glad I stayed because Twitter's fun. And even though it's super addictive and um, I can never not be on there because I'm always addicted. I'm addicted to it. So oh, that's true. But I will say this, um, you know, we're still on praline. So <laughs> um, what else is going on? So that's our Bitcoin conversation. I think yeah. it's cool. The point is you can uh, sell your stuff. You can, you know, sell things online and it's, um, you know, you can accept crypto and it's fun and easy and anyone can do it. And also sometimes frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating. <laughs> the, the thing about WordPress is it's there's so many moving parts, you know, just to create the WordPress website that I have. We also sell T-shirts and stuff and have yeah. my grumpy face on them. And shout out to everyone that bought T-shirts and stuff. You're like Thank the you. New grumpy cat. Yeah. The um, it's like there's so many moving parts and you, you know, you install little plugins to make it all work. And yeah, but it all works. And I'm. I'm impressed with how it all works and that's it. That's all I got to say about that. It's beautiful. Uh, what else is going on? There's been some crazy stuff in the crypto Twitter community. Yeah. I really can't keep up because I've been in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. making pralines. Where, where, where women should be. Oh, shut the fuck up. Um, I believe the correct thing is barefoot and pregnant and in the kitchen. <laughs> no, we've already talked about this too. Right. Uh, and you, you made rice. Yeah, I made um, which, microwave rice the other day. Yeah, I'm proud of I, myself. I was, I was proud of you too. We're going to Washington soon for Christmas to yep. see our son, mm -hmm. or for you know, well, for our festivus. Yeah, for our Christmas. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I was talking about crypto Twitter specifically, hon, and you're talking about us you said again. What is going on? Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you. I think it's in my mind what is going on. Here's what I've noticed. Um, obviously, the you know the market is just slowly like just going down, and everyone's getting kind of burnt out. And 
there's still the same, you know, same thing that's happening. People are still, you know, fighting and stuff on crypto Twitter. And it usually happens when the market is dead and people are losing their money. So it's just the same old stuff. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, maybe people have to do things to keep things exciting in their lives or yeah on, maybe yeah. i don't know yeah i think you just have to i've just noticed a lot of people have left and maybe just more general bad moods it's also the fucking holidays yeah and the holidays are tough for some people you right. know everyone's holidays like, are tough oh i'm yeah. happy it's the holidays and yeah. some people are like fuck you no it's so. like i don't know why <laughs> but it's a lot of people have issues during the holidays i think it's just because uh, well, mo- because I, most families aren't perfect. Yes, I was going to say that. I know why. It's no. because uh, <laughs> most families are fucking a mess. And uh, it's it's hard being like, you know, um, a family is difficult uh, because <laughs> they are evil oh, and <laughs> they just want to suck the life force I, out of you. I don't you. think, you know, everyone has your experience. Oh. I thought you were talking about like our family. No, now. I'm talking about <laughs> my you switched particular over, I realized, but, extended but, family. No, I mean, you know, if, if, I think some people have like at least one person in the family that triggers them, like in yeah. the ex, at least a slightly yeah. extended family that you see during the holidays. So, yeah. and then you look at everyone else. It's like, Oh, happy holidays. It's perfect. I'm having a great time. And you just see like the little happy clips. Mm-hmm. So you get like, you know, yeah. Fussy mm. about it. Yeah. <laughs> so it could be that, but there's still the, the, there's still a lot of the regulars are still on there doing their thing. I see Jim is doing a lot of like songs and stuff and that's yes. keeping everyone's spirits. Uh, baby Windio is telling us all to um, baby Windio. Baby Baby O is baby telling o, yeah. us just <laughs> made a recording this morning to keep you know don't get discouraged. Mm-hmm. And it's all, we're gonna be okay. She's gonna save everybody. I'm and sure. yeah, so there's you know and there's it's it's we're gonna be fine, everyone. I think the the I was talking um, I was talking to someone the other day in the DMs and I was like, you know, the thing about it is, uh, it's the people here now who are, are building and stuff that are going to reap the benefits of all this. And if you believe in all this crazy cryptocurrency stuff and, you know, stick around and and keep building, uh, it'll pay off eventually. And then it's not just financially. It's just, you know, it's like, it's kind of like this. It's like the thing like, okay, you see something, you believe in it. And Famobi Dick, and you should be writing these ats down because I'm mentioning a I'm lot of people. not your fucking secretary. Famobi Dick was just said this the other day. He said, um, he said, everyone is here because they FOMO'd in to the price. And that's kind of true. Like, that's how, that's what kind of got me. I'm like, holy shit, this the, is the money thing. You know what I mean? Like, the price went up. And that's sort of like what, you know, when I, I had the, a little bit of Bitcoin in my Circle Wallet and it, like, doubled in price, I'm like, holy crap, this is crazy. And it keeps going up or whatever. Right. And it, you kind of get here, you, you're here because of that. I right. mean, honestly. And then, but well, then. sometimes it's the tech. No, I know that, but it's 99%. But then there's also the people who um, just believe in it. And I, now and that I've, I, I see it and I know what is possible uh, with, with blockchain and crypto and Bitcoin, I, I believe in it. And that's why I'm still here doing this because I do believe it is going to, I don't want to be corny, but I do believe it's going to, um, you know, kind of take the power back a little bit. And I don't have the, uh, that song in cue. Oh, well, that's even if I did, I couldn't play it because YouTube would <laughs> right. fucking give me a copyright yeah. strike. But imagine the song from Rage Against the Machine right, right now playing. Yeah. Take the power back. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I do want to say that I did notice, you know, there are people leaving and that's okay too. Like if you need to leave yep. for you like you just need to fucking leave for mm-hmm. a little bit. I'm sure you'll be back and we'll you, still be here. <laughs> it's why are you here though? So what are you getting out of being on social media all the time? And it is a lot of people I've noticed are on it, including myself, yeah. all the time. <laughs> if you're not out on Twitter on the floor is what it's called, you are in the DMs. And now the the new thing I'm noticing is like 
all these group DMs where there's like 50 people in a... Uh, That's not a new thing. Well, it, I, it's it kind of is relatively new because it started out as so Discord. Like from last year. Yeah, it started out <laughs> as Discord. Everyone was in Discords and then it moved to like group DM, Twitter DMs because everyone's on Twitter anyway. So yeah. it's just easier to be Stay on your in phone. the same app, yeah. So it becomes this like thing that you're just obsessed with and you're just always on there. But um, I had a point and I got lost, but basically um, why are you here and what are you getting out of this? Yeah. If you're getting just the social interaction and the, the endorphins from the notifications, then it, this place can be very um, pro and con. Like it's very like, it can be very negative and draining and stuff because you know, there's a lot of like negativity and shit on here, but if you're here because you really kind of believe in the whole thing and the long term and the vision of all of this, um, then, you know, you're going to stick around, I think, because I just like I said, I think it's it's going to it's kind of it's the thing. And it's like it's something I'm interested in and I like it. Well, here's the thing with the negativity, though. I just scroll past it usually like you just scroll past it. So I feel like if people are getting caught up in it, maybe they're just they, they want to know what's going on and they want to. You know, I mean, yeah. maybe just be excited by something, even if it's not just positive someone, stuff. Yeah, someone actually posted an article that says you actually get like a, you know, the same kind of endorphin thing from drama. Right. You know, that's that's why the whole train wreck thing, like people uh, love a train wreck. Be- right. And just like, like the watching a fight or rubberneckers something. like will stop. Uh, yes. and, and when there's a horrible accident, because you're just like you're 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 just, you know, yeah, you're drawn like, to it. W- because I, I'm like, what? Sometimes I'm like, what? What's happening? Fill mm-hmm. me in. Tell me what's happening. No, never mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah, and um, it's you know, it's a thing. And it's this the is look, don't look thing. And this is like a big giant, like uh, uh, it's a it's a big community, but it's also a very very small one. And it's like before you know it, you realize like you kind of know like everybody. And even though like. I've still, well, you know, everyone on your block. <laughs> yeah. And I, cause yeah, there are like, we're in sort of like a little niche of the whole crypto Twitter community of like, you know, kind of the goofy, like not so technical fun kind of crowd. And then there's the whole like <laughs> serious, you know, trade, I'm a trader and I don't, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, um, I love how you got that, that voice when you did the, that one, like what you, you maybe you don't notice, but I, I feel like I picked it up. Which voice? You did some kind of like snarky voice when you did the for the other people that oh, weren't you. Well, fuck them. <laughs> um, that was what I picked up. If in you're not in our crowd, in our thing, That's then very you can... simple minded. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes, I am a simple minded. <laughs> no, person. I don't think simple minded is the word. I was uh, uh, whatever. Anyways, you yeah. know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like one thought. Narrow. Voice. Narrow. Narrow minded. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Also, back to the like, you know, the thing about like uh, shipping your own product that your wife makes in the kitchen. Do you want to tell them how many like blisters you have on your fingers? Oh, just two. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, hot sugar. Yeah, she's is... burnt herself twice horribly. <laughs> and then, you know, you've got to uh, package them and ship them. And that's a whole thing, you know, making sure. And then there's people who want to you to ship it to them internationally and there's all that. And we just shipped our first order to Canada that's great. and knock on wood. That sucker gets way, there. The way you like present things like you're complaining about it. I am <laughs> very negative and I need to work on that because I, things. this amazing. No, I'm happy. And, but see, I'm very like, I always come from like a negative place and I need to stop doing that. So <laughs> But everything's going pretty well, I'd say, overall. Everyone's got their health. I'd say the... Um, Everyone? Well, I mean, in our family, I'm saying in our almost. Family. In our family. Yeah, almost. But <laughs> Not um, quite everyone in our family. Yeah, I know. I just... I just yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It's like um, life is crazy and weird and, and strange and wonderful all at the same time. And I guess we're all lucky to be able to be a part of it. And I don't know. Yeah, I feel like there's something else. I feel like there's something that I wanted to talk to you about, but I can't. I can't. Okay, remember. there's a couple things that yeah. happened since our last episode that a we can things, touch it's on. It's been a while. We could touch on that ugly ass cyber truck. Oh yeah. And that whole thing, because we were gonna yeah. record an episode, <laughs> and let me the just day after. Let me just back up and say it's ugly as hell, but I still fucking like it, and I love Elon Musk. I'm a huge fanboy of Elon Musk and everything he's fucking doing. I don't right. give a shit. Fuck all the haters. That motherfucker is amazing, and we're lucky to have him. Yeah. So, 
Um, but the damn thing is ugly. Come on. The okay, the live thing that we watched. Right. So so that was cool watching that. It was. That's the second live thing I've seen of Elon Musk, and I still get kind of like like chills when it's about to come on the thing when he launched his car into space (laughs) when he launched his fucking car his tesla into space and it had don't panic on the thing and it was like uh it had a david bowie song i i had chills the entire fucking time the cyber truck thing i got excited (laughs) until it rolled out and i was like oh shit this is a joke right no 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 until it rolled out yeah you did i was like like, okay well that's that he's trolling us right now that's not the real thing and he was like and i you thought it so strongly that you made me believe that it was a joke like that was a prop and then he was gonna roll out with this awesome badass truck also i noticed elon was so like off his game i don't i don't recall watching many like i'm not such a fanboy of elon that i watch everything he does but i don't think i've ever seen him do like a live presentation uh but he was so i don't know what was wrong like if they the teleprompter was wrong but he was like not spitting his words out and there was a lot of just pause awkward pauses and it was just weird and awkward crazy had happened before yeah like right before and then went on unprepared and my my theory put your tinfoil hat on for this one okay my theory is that he hired matthew mcconaughey Mm -hmm. to do the presentation Mm -hmm. but he and matthew mcconaughey hung out got stoned yeah, right. there's some naked bongo. And in. then Matthew McConaughey was like, he oh, bro, out. I'm so fucked up. I no, can't do the show. He passed out and he oh, couldn't wake him okay. up. So Elon, and then, had, so to Elon go on. had to go on stoned as fuck out of his mind. Yes. And, and if you put it in perspective like that, I, he did I, a great job. He did a fantastic <laughs> job until <laughs> they fucking threw the bowling balls into the window and the motherfuckers cracked. Now, the first time the shit busts, don't do it again. <laughs> don't let that dude fucking grab another one of those little bowling well, balls and throw it. you pointed out something good. In, in the, when, didn't they show it before where they were test showing the test and it was a smaller ball? And it's yes. like he threw a bigger ball Yeah, look, so right before he actually threw these steel balls, they were like giant like ball bearings um, into the glass. They did like another demonstration where they dropped it onto a piece of glass like sitting on a table, right? Mm-hmm. So that's like a controlled experiment, I guess, or demonstration. So then the guy grabs what looks to me, and he do, did two different size uh, ball bearings. And I think in the first initial test that they did behind the scenes before the show, they threw the smaller ball. And it looked to me like the guy grabbed the larger ball and threw it. And But to, beyond that, like I couldn't imagine how that must have felt for Elon uh, when he threw yeah. the ball and it fucking shattered it didn't bounce off like I would I would have a fucking panic attack like I did the other day when the lady told me to pitch oh, something to oh her. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he did great. He did fucking he great. He recovered well. He you got to laugh that shit off. You have to laugh that shit off. And then you still just be like, you know, I would be like, OK, I'm going to go live in a cave now. It's I'm done because my live product demo failed and everyone's going to laugh at me. But, he, you know, you just keep pressing on. And either you just way, laugh with them. either way, the shit didn't like bust all the way through. So it's a good, you know, uh, yeah. the shit's here's the thing. Here's what's fucking people will like find little things to pick apart. Yeah, whatever, because they're fucking jealous ass, hater ass bitches. <laughs> but the fucking things, goddamn bulletproof motherfuckers. He's built a bullet troop proof truck that's like one big giant fucking hunk of metal well, and it's fucking electric and it's and and i i tweeted this out i said that it's like it the first price is not the four-wheel drive super fast one okay it's like but it's like forty thousand dollars to to own one of these trucks and then the price goes up from there well it looks like something right out of wait what's that one total recall yeah okay it looks like some 80s yeah, it's like the, the the look of it is weird, but movie. it's but every work truck that you ever see is dented the fuck out of. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's just it's a good idea. No, it's great. It's a great and idea. For the entry the level price. price, you're getting and it's the cool as hell. The fucking bulletproof and the solid fucking design. So anyway, whatever. It's weird and ugly looking, but it's I think well, it's cool. It's, you're you're gonna notice it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so the Cybertruck thing happened. What else we've like big some, has happened? We've seen some movies that are oh popular, but I don't, you know. Mm, I can't even remember. The Irishman. The Irishman, Everyone man. Everyone was talking about The Irishman. Yeah, it wasn't great. I was mad at you for wasting an hour of my life watching that. 
We didn't even finish it. I know. Um, we started to watch the um, uh, the Stephen King one, the uh, yeah, Stan, Dr. No, Doctor Sleep, The Shining, and I didn't like that either. I didn't either. I'm um, usually a oh, fan. we're watching Mandalorian, which is fucking great. Except for last, last episode. Last episode sucked. I wouldn't say fucking great, but it, it did. I had very, 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 I had no expectations, and I was pleasantly surprised so here's being a huge star our son did bail though so it's now just you and i watching it is not as fun so i'm a huge (laughs) like og star wars fan i don't like any of the new shit and i'm talking about even the the you haven't even watched any of the new shit. no i'm not even talking about the latest new shit i'm talking when disney's fucking fucking it up i'm talking about like jar jar Binks shit i hate all that i i don't like like the original um like you know, first three fucking Star Wars. And I don't even really like the fucking it's third not, one. Right. Return of the Jedi. I right. like the first two, goddammit. You like the, four, five, and six. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. And the fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not that much of a nerd that I, I don't, the, I'm just what? saying the first two, okay? I know, I know they're four, five, and six. And I, that annoys me too. Don't fuck with that shit. Like, uh, yeah, they, no one fucks George with Lucas, just, just, just <laughs> why are you starting out the very first fucking uh, movie as number four, okay? Don't do that. Just this is number one, and then the next one's number two, and then you make these retarded, horrible fucking prequels that I don't understand. Really That's so fucking bad. It just Those completely bad. changed everything. It looked like shit. It was way too much CGI. And then he goes and fucks with the original movies, right? Yeah. I think. So, okay. Anyway, <laughs> but that's why I'm saying I like The Mandalorian because it reminds me, and obviously they're trying to do this, it looks like the old school original fucking Star Wars. There's the same fucking, it does. not over CGI, their little baby Yoda's cute as fuck and he's a little puppet and that's awesome. Right. It's not overly CGI. Even when they do the special effects on there, it's like old school special effects. If you look at the camera monitor, I mean the... Yeah, it looks like models just yeah, like swinging well, around. Yeah, well, not necessarily that. The ships and stuff look pretty realistic. I'm talking about when they're in... It looks in, good. Yeah. But it, I mean, it's, it still it's looks the same good. style. It's not... Now, I know those yeah. ships and things are probably CGI, but I'm talking about in the like cockpit when he's looking at, at like computer, his computer screen is the old school like cheesy looking graphics and stuff on there mm-hmm. and i really like the um just the way it's 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 done i like it it reminds me of the original star wars so that's that i like it too but i mentioned this to you last night i like things that are like movies like they keep going right and i like series as movies because they're better than movies because they're longer than movies and yep. you can get into them yeah and binge watch them. But I like them where they're not broken up. Like each episode is a nice little wrapped up story. Yeah. At the end and then another mm-hmm. one. I like where it just keeps going. So like Game of Thrones is like one big long story. The I, mean, Man- I wouldn't compare anything to Game of Thrones. Mandalorian's more like the each, hugest fan. Yeah. Each episode is like a little mini story. But anyway, I love I like it. I'm happy that they're doing that because it, it like I said, it's like old school Star Wars. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to that Bitcoin show. Uh, we appreciate all you guys. And buy some pralines. Have a happy holidays. And if you're not, hang in there. Yeah, hang in there. And um, you can go to our website, thatbitcoinshow.com, and links to everything if you'd like to support us, support the show. Uh, we're looking for a sponsor for this show. Uh, I know the market's tough right now, but... Oh, I uh, love that high pitch Yeah, voice. I got high, really high. <laughs> but, um, you know, whatever. We're going to keep doing this thing because it's fun and we like to do it. Uh, so check us out on our website, thatbitcoinshow.com, for links to everything. And it's got a link to uh, where you can buy some of Tamara's pralines. And oh, high pitched again. you can buy a t-shirt if you want to. Oh my God, a t-shirt. Wait, we didn't what? cover the thing. You, you, you just, you, you touched on it. A, a, what? The interview you did. Oh yeah. We'll do that for another show. I'm Duh. done. All right, guys, that's it. That's a wrap. Peace.